I mean, not much else I can say about the guy, except that he's brilliant. You want to hang on to every word he has to say. Um, young guy, but uh, don't let his looks fool you. He knows a ton of information. Welcome to the stage, Paul Counts. All right, can you guys hear me okay? All right, how are you guys doing? All right, good, good. Well, I'm so excited to be here. Uh, you guys probably see my little ones walking around here, maybe a few times they came down and visited. They're all taking naps right now, but I usually put them to sleep with this stuff. But anyways, so um, hopefully you guys won't fall asleep. Uh, how many of you guys want to get free targeted traffic on demand? How many of you guys would like to get traffic within 24 hours from hearing me speak? All right, good. That's what we're going to be talking about today. So I'm going to jump right in here. We're short on time, which is good, because I'm going to just jump right into content. Let's see if this thing works. Okay, basically, we all know traffic breathes life into our online business. It's extremely important for what we are trying to do here. Uh, without traffic, you can't make sales or even generate opt-ins. It's safe to say without traffic, your online business would fail. I can't sugarcoat that any more than that. Um, it doesn't matter where your traffic comes from. If nobody's there to see your business, you're going to fail hate to say it that way, but that's true. You know, um, you could have the best looking site, the worst looking site, but if nobody can see it, you can't cash in on it. Anybody want to write an ebook on how to work a clicker? <laughs> All right. You can't rely on others to help bring you traffic. You need to be the one that works to get more traffic for yourself. A lot of people say, oh, just build your site, sit back, and wait for somebody else to do it. And that's one of the worst things you, you can do, because I don't know about you, my family depends on what I do for a living. And so I'm not willing to sit back on my haunches. I'm willing to go out there and do it and get traffic, you know. Um, affiliates, JV partners are great, but you can't hold your future in the hands of a joint venture partner possibly having something else come up, you know. You need to be in control of that. So you need to be able to get traffic on your own too. All right. It's important that you rely on a variety of different sources for driving traffic to your business. You know, so you want to have SEO, pay-per-click, Videos, press releases, articles, even forums, social media, and JV partners, you know, all those ways are great ways to get traffic. You want to rely on a variety of sources for traffic because, you know, let's face it, if one of them goes under, like let's say your search engine rankings fall, um, you know, for some reason they're down for a few, you know, a couple days because that happens with Google from time to time. Um, if you didn't have anything else, then you would be stuck with no traffic. So it's good to put all your, you know, it's not good, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, so to speak, you know. So that's very, very important. So where's the traffic at? Like I said, almost every single purchase online starts with a search engine. We all know that, such as Google, Yahoo, um, MSN. Wow, Bing. Boy, I was kind of outdated there. Um, MSN or Bing. Um, you need to position your site so it matches with the information that those people are looking for. Position your site, position the Web 2.0 properties, and all that. I'm trying to go through this part quickly because we all kind of know some of this. Um, so you need more to do more than just position your site. You should focus on positioning your um, articles and your other you know, op videos, different things like that out there. So you want to focus on overall exposure because more exposure is going to be more traffic, you know, because if you have 100, um, you know, 100 places people can find you online, I know you all would agree that that's 100 times people can find you rather than just your website, which a lot of people focus on just their website or they focus just on pay-per-click and they're really losing out on a huge part of the market that's out there. So um, search engine optimization is one of these traffic elements we're going to be talking about. I have a few more I'm going over. Uh, but basically, SEO, search engine optimization, it's free targeted visitors to your website. That's why it's absolutely essential because, you know, we all don't have unlimited marketing budgets. You know, nobody does. And, you know, what's great about SEO is that you can compete with some of the biggest companies online. You know, I have a pet store, and we've been able to compete consistently with Amazon.com, Petco, PetSmart, all that kind of stuff. You're able to compete with Fortune 500 companies with, you know, basically from just doing SEO stuff. You can sit in your apartment, in your room, you can compete with the biggest companies on the internet that have multi-million dollar marketing budgets just by knowing a little bit of SEO. Um, you know, and that goes on the list here. Uh, it also was great, I don't know why I put this in, uh, in the SEO part, but you can also use um, the internet and SEO principles to research your competition, you know. Um, you can use a great site called Yahoo Site Explorer. Um, Yahoo Site Explorer, you want to write that down. And you can do a Google search for your top 10 competitors. So do a quick Google search for your top 10 competitors.